All right, boys and girls, so today we're going to test the HyperTuff electric chainsaw, the 14-inch model. I don't remember exactly how much this was. I bought it a little while back and have not used it. I think it was around $60. It was not much. That's why I bought it. Anyways, you get one chainsaw. It does have an oiler. Must put fluid in there. It does not have the sight glass that the little more expensive models do. That's not a big deal. It does came with the chain already installed. So it should just be an add oil and go. Set up 14 inch. Which should do pretty nicely for the little um, things that I got. Has the ratcheting tensioner right here. To loosen the chain and to tighten it. So that's kind of nice. So we're going to try this thing out and see how well it does. All right, so it does have a sight gauge. I noticed when I started filling up the oil right here, there actually is a sight gauge on this side. Um, one thing I've noticed, it doesn't have the lock for the bar. This is just a handle hand guard. So your lock is the button here, which um, some other of the craftsmen's and stuff still have a lock just like a gas one would have. Plus, they have the finger trigger. So, one less safety feature. Some people might like that. Some people uh, might be scared of that. So, let's get this thing going and saw some wood. Okay. So, I already made a little cut there. But we're going to revisit this. Um, not wearing all the safety equipment I should have. So, do as I say, but don't do as I do type thing. I don't know if the auto oiler is an automatic oiler or not. Because the instructions are pictorial. But they do show pushing the bulb. So I'll do that a few times just in case that's how it oils and it's not automatic. And I'm going to make another slice down this dead tree. Um, this tree is not completely rotted or anything like that. It's pine, so that is a little softer and like if you're going to cut oak or something like that. But this tree's been dead for probably about three years now. Um, and it's been sitting here, but it's not rotted. It's still pretty solid wood. So let's cut it up. Pretty solid. The outer edges of the tree have a little rot, but the center of the tree was still pretty good. That's a good six to eight inches of cutting there. So far, so good. So, thanks for watching. Um, I don't think this is too bad of a product for the price. I would like it if it had the bar lock, and um, that would probably be a little nicer. But it is what it is. You get what you pay for. It does cut. It does a pretty good job of cutting, and it will cut down some of my dead stumps. So I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out the merch store.